Hello, K-Pop Med here, and today I want to talk about how I went from a 3.2 science GPA to a 3.8 science GPA. As many of you all know, science GPA is an incredibly important factor in your medical school admissions, and so it is important that you want to get that science GPA as high as possible. Keep in mind that the tips I have here are from a perspective of someone who came to college that was not really that smart, but was willing to work really hard. And so that's going to reflect on my study strategy. Firstly, breaks. You want to be utilizing your school breaks well, which are usually one to two weeks. During that one to two week period, you want to be slowly working through the material of the first midterm for whatever science course you're taking, whether that be organic chemistry or biochemistry or whatever science course, you know, bit by bit every day all the way up until five to seven days before the first midterm when it is five to seven days before the first midterm obviously go over the midterm material and then after that midterm continue to learn new material the point is is that you want to be able to know the material before you walk into lecture so that lecture really only supplements what you learn because it is so much easier to learn old material than to relearn new material fresh you know, all the stuff that you learn in the lecture can really already be gleaned off Khan Academy and the Organic Chemistry Tutor or whatever these YouTube. You will find that when you walk into lecture and already knowing what's being taught, it makes lectures so much easier and it makes studying just so much easier. Secondly, you want to study a little bit every single day. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking you can cram everything into the night before. I'm telling you, that is leaving your GPA up to chance. I know you're gonna listen to your classmates say, oh, I crammed and I got an A, but my method is more of a foolproof one and it works every single time. If you study a little bit every single day, starting from the first day of the quarter, you're gonna have so much knowledge accumulated and it's gonna be so much easier to study than to cram. Thirdly, getting help immediately. If you don't understand a problem, get help immediately. I know you're probably gonna think that you can understand it later or that you'll ask later. Don't think of it in terms of later. I assure you, if you put it off until later, you're never going to understand it. And it's gonna show up as a 20 point question on your midterm and you're gonna be sad. So point being, go to your TA's office hours, go to your campus tutoring, go to the online resources, find a way to find an answer to the question you have immediately when it comes up. You're gonna thank yourself later for your midterm grade. Fourth, sleep. Sleep is incredibly important. If you don't sleep, you're not gonna function properly. Don't pull all-liners, don't reduce the amount of your sleep to study. Make sure that sleep is kind of like studying because it really is search your brain-derived neurotropic factor. And so you want to have enough time to sleep adequately or else you're never gonna be able to study well. Fifth, research units. So I know this is gonna vary for every school, but for my school, I was able to get one unit of science GPA for every five hours of research I did in a lab for 10 weeks. This has to be science-based research, so we're talking about like biology, biochemistry, math, physics, but I think this is a really good way to perform the lab techniques that you learn in lecture, you can read about scientific literature, you can meet great people, and you can even potentially get a publication. And if you wanna learn more about how to join a lab, look at my video up here. And so those are my five ways that I use to get my SGPA from 3.2 to 3.8. If you want more videos like this, please give me a like, give me a comment, and I'll see you on the next video.